Hello guys, well welcome back and last time I, I was talking to you about floating point arithmetic so this time I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit more about it so it's gonna be a short tutorial um, and well uh, I don't wanna forget to tell you my name my name is Amel um, and well welcome back so I showed you that you had two doubles right here and these two doubles uh, you load them from random access memory to uh, register F2 and F3 and then to register F4 and F5 and then after you perform the addition uh, of F2 and F4 the values there they were gonna the, the addition or the sum was going to be stored in F12 and then using this syscall uh, you requested from the operating system to display the value to the screen but now I just want to tell you that um, you can use not only addition in this way you can also use multiplication so let's say that I want to instead of uh, adding the numbers I just want to multiply the numbers so there's another instruction right there and the instruction is mul dot d and they also have uh, this is for double so multiply doubles and if I execute the code but before that let me change this a little bit so this is gonna be 3.00 and this is gonna be 2.00 uh, just to make it easier for you so multiply double uh, the, val the value in F2 which is uh, 3.00 and the value in F4 uh, 2.00 and uh, store the product of these two numbers in F12 and then print it out so let me show you save assemble execute and you can see that 3 times 2 is 6 so you see 6.0 so you also have mode.s but that's just for floating point numbers so uh, if you watch my previous tutorial uh, you can see um, you, you can learn how to how to do um, with um, addition with floating point numbers so I mean single precision so if you are dealing with single precision you, you just have to use that S for doubles you use that D and they also have uh, others like div uh, div that that D and not yeah right here div that D and you can see div that D if we go here you see that it takes three registers as well so so if I do that I just have to divide so let's say that I change this number I want to divide 15 divided by 3 and then I execute the code let me clear this and save and run assemble when I execute you see that I get 5.0 so 15.00 divided by 3.00 is 5.0 so you can see it's pretty easy and it's pretty intuitive um, there are instructions to multiply div divide subtract so for subtract for subtracting doubles you use sub that D so uh, you see it's pretty easy thank you for watching this tutorial I hope you enjoyed and see you next time